Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. It's led to this, Allie. Thanks for that. Grant, you won Rookie of the Year. You feel that a rookie wall is a real thing this time of the season? I think it is, B.A. Now, I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but 30 games versus 82 games is a serious difference. The physicality of the NBA can also wear down a rookie. Here are the starters for Charlotte. They've got MP, and it's Baller in at the two guard. And for the Heat, they've got Junior. He's out there with Ball, and it's G in at the four. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Pass to Buckets. Here's ABC. Knocked loose. Oh, stolen by Junior. Now here's MP. No good from outside. From deep three-point range, Buckets can't hit. About a minute played here so far in the first. Here's the bodyguard. Five to shoot. MP, the pass to Junior. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Again, MP missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. And Junior throws it down. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. On the wing, MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And defensively, you have to make them work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. MP against ball. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Charlotte. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. MP. Here's ABC. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. The Hornets making a switch here. Shot from the inbound. Shot's good by Buckets. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Here's MP. The shot off that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. Pass to Chamberlain. Hires the three. And that one's good. LaMelo Ball for three. Ball's got five points. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's MP. He takes it in. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, they found buckets very hard to come by. And you could tell it frustrated them to no end. Now, the AC seemed to be cranked up in that one. It was chilly in the arena that night, at least on that end of the floor. Just cold shooting all the way around. Miami's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Oh, I didn't think that was going in. Impressive offensive versatility for Big. He can show you a variety of looks. Pass to Slim. Drives to the hoop. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. And Miami has possession. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought a 100 pair of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. 
He has around 5,000 pairs overall. He even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Pass to Bell. It's deflected. Throws it up high. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. To the inside. Doesn't go that time. The Heat have got five of seven shots to fall. Outside Butler. Who poked away. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to ABC. He's good with a little jumper in close. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game. So you want to make sure the right call was made. And they've gotten enough looks at it. The basket will not count. The quarter ended before he got it off. That was a great idea to give it a second glance. The replay system is available, so you've got to utilize it. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Heat out in front, leading by just two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Well, the Miami Heat, not all lottery picks are blue chip prospects, but you ask all-star Jimmy Butler, and he likes what they have. We got a team full of guys that can score, a team full of guys that can defend, can get everybody else involved. Um, it's, a, it's a nice team, man. We're playing well. Grant, you never want to write them off. <laughs> and when your team is made up of overachievers, they've got plenty of experience proving doubters wrong. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. Yeah, showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage. They controlled the boards in the first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. And for the Hornets, they've got Johnson, and it's Slim in at the three, the small forward. Here's Bell, the offensive rebound, second chance shot, and rejected. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, the Heat culture is all about work, and this roster is littered with overachievers. Jimmy Butler said, quote, the Miami Heat look for those diamonds in the rough. Players that are hungry, players that have some dog in them and play for one another. These guys do what it takes to be in the league for a while, Brian. Boy, they compete, right, Allie? Thanks for that. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Pass to ABC. Junior against Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. And he recovers it. Here's ABC. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. Take it away! Four on one. Here they go! And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And for players these days, a lack of shooting can be a big hindrance. Grant, would you be more concerned by struggles from the perimeter or the free throw line? I'd be more concerned with struggles at the free throw line. I mean, if you struggle there, you can become very, very tentative out there on the court. And opponents can foul to force your hand. 
Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Got a piece of it. Pass to Chamberlain. And he drives in. There's the block. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Oh, stolen by Junior. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. LaMelo Ball, he's checked in for Miami. And both free throws good for Junior. The Heat have gotten nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Covered by MP. Pass to ABC. That's tipped. And here's MP from outside. Rebound by the Heat. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. They'll be looking to impose their will against this team. Something they couldn't achieve last season. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Tipped. Pass to the monster. Now ball. Jacks up a three. He drops it from range. And now a three-point Heat lead. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Heat. Guys, it's been great hustle defense throughout two quarters of play. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots as well. They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. So both teams making some changes here. One oh seven left in the second. Pass to Butler. Here's the chosen one. Good. And Butler gets the assist. He's got five. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. MP the pass to Junior. And here are the Hornets with another bucket. Miami has gone two for two from outside the arc here in the second quarter. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And the Heat lead by four. Fires for three. Ball with the rebound. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. A nice shot by Butler. Defense had the right idea there, but maybe not enough time in the weight room. Butler right through that. Junior drives in, and they get it back. ABC, and it's blocked. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession.
Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Pass to Insanity. Ball with the rebound. With one on the clock. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's Miami with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Brego. And in the second half, what are you looking to do offensively to sort of retake the pace of this game? We're going to get some easy baskets, get to their paint, try to get to the free throw line, slow the game down a little bit, get some easy ones, and then we'll find some shooters as we go. One step at a time. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. They led by two after the first. For the Heat, Kenny, how'd you feel about it? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. Shaq, let's get your insight on Charlotte. I like how they're working the ball on that low and finding easy looks. Uh, they may be tend to switch things up in the second half, but I say stick with it. Force the other team to adjust to the way you play. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. LaMelo Ball with a strong contribution so far in this one. Hey, we didn't expect this. Not normally a big-time assist maker. He's done a great job moving the ball around. Now you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Junior, he's out there with Ball. And it's the monster in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Offensive board. Here's ABC. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's ABC. It's good. Give him eight points now. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Charlotte trailing. Here's ABC. Kicks it to Junior. Drills it from deep. Junior's got nine. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And the dunk by Junior. You got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Yep, that one goes. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. That one drops. He ties it up. Miami's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Poke loose. Oh, stolen by Junior. And Junior throws it down. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. Time, time called out, time here. Out. Miami decides to talk it over. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's ABC. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line.
And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. Here's Charlotte. They've outscored him 10 to 2 during this run. Pass to Baller. Here's Boomer. And he lays it up and in. And the Hornets lead by two. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. That one falls. He has six. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Shoots from the elbow. And he can't get that one. And Miami will go the other way with it. On the wing, Junior. Baseline jumper. Here's the monster. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second-chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Timeout call, the Hornets. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Junior outside. Pass to Baller. From deep, Johnson sinks it from distance. Johnson's got five. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. The Hornets with the lead. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. 152 left in the third. And here's Junior outside. Hornets with the rebound. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. The shot by the bodyguard. No good. Miami's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock, Chamberlain pulls it in. The Heat have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Fast break. Here come the Hornets. Count it. And the Hornets lead by five. Another turnover leads to another bucket at the other end. To the middle. Oh, stolen by Junior. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Junior. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Ball, he's checked in for Junior. Two seconds left in the third. Here's the chosen one. Oh, oh, over the are top. you kidding me? Wow. Amazing. Man. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Inside. Pass to Bell. Shot clock at six. The shot by the bodyguard, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And just Shakespearean there, a smart read. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he wisely pulled up from the outside and drilled it. Right wing. Here's Johnson. Deflected! Fast break Miami for the finish. Oh, a huge slam. An exclamation point on that break. 
They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. It's the Heat leading by just two. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the floor for Charlotte. They've got Johnson. And it's Freak in a power forward. And the basket by the monster. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. A great example out here of just a, a no-quit team continuing to compete until the final buzzer. Slim misses. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Two shots. Five. Elbow. Two. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Heat. The fantastic passing we saw from them in the first half carried right over into the second half, too. The other thing they've done is had penetrating passes inside, in the interior, Plenty of points in the paint. Both shots good from the strike. And really strong at the line since the break. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. The Heat with the lead. Fast break Miami. Ooh, took them no time at all to get that one. Looks like they're gaining some confidence here in crunch time. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. Here's Bell. Shot clock at five. Pass to ABC. Charlotte again missing. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. It's tipped. And they're able to recover. Count the basket. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what James Borrego was saying to his team. He's been really discouraged by their effort. He said, quote, it's about want to, fighting through the adversity. Look at yourselves and ask, quote, what can I do to help us win? He's laying down the challenge. Okay, thanks, Allie. The rebounding differential is a major story in this game. And the three-pointer goes. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Here's Slim. Pass to ABC. Down low. Boomer uses the glass on the layup. Now those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And out of bounds, Charlotte will have it. Yeah, just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. For Charlotte, they've got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Here's Slim. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. 
If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. On the wing, Junior. Got a hand on it. And he gets it back. Charlotte has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Boomer. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. There's a minute 54 left in the final quarter. Stolen by MP. And MP throws it down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Miami's gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Tipped away. Here's Baller. And he goes in for the dunk. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. And Junior throws it down. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. He hits the first one, and that brings him within 10. And that's good as he hits both shots. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. At the line. So the first one drops, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And both free throws good for Junior. Charlotte, they're working against the clock now. Junior outside. Three-pointer. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his sixth assist of the night for Miami. They've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. Bad foul. That's not who you want to send to the line. At the line. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up by nine. He's perfect from the line this time. Charlotte has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Into the lane. And MP throws it down hard. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. And here's Ball. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Heat. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And with this one safely in the books, it'll mark their 23rd win of the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. Pass to Rozier. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Here's Lowry. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Butler. Oh, there's the alley! You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Lowry outside. So the Heat win it. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in.
We'll see you next time.